if you came from a poor family don't bring a poor family out of you if you come from a defeated family don't bring a defeated family out of you become that bridge between the old and the new you make up your mind like jesus that i will surrender my life for the sake of those coming ahead is god speaking to someone transformation is a long process because now you begin to learn you are learning the principles of the kingdom listening to tapes do you know transformation is not all up to god it takes discipline to be transformed this is why we need to cast the spirit of laziness from the house of god waiting for the word of god to come and meet you is proof that you are not serious spiritually by the truth it says the market does not come to your house by the truth you wake up in the night lord i thank you i came from a poor family i came from a defeated family i came from a family of idol worship lord this has to end i cannot watch my children i'm not going to be able to give my children an explanation as to why they are inheriting defeat in spite of their education lord let me pay that price even if it means using me as a scapegoat let me go through that once and for all and the spirit of the lord comes to you in response to your hunger call on to me he says and i will answer i will show you great and mighty things that you do not know please hear me an attack on your prayer life an attack on your passion to study the bible is not about westernization is danger being programmed in your future can i tell you this the devil will not attack you immediately he's not stupid he will wait for you to keep going down in ignorance and then destroy all your children anybody who can help you the devil will take them away from you first before he attacks you because if you have helpers too close to you when you attack you can call on them and they will help you so the devil will allow you to be far from everywhere help can be found then one day he will visit you in a way that you cannot imagine someone shout no way shout it again God is for us then what could ever stop us and if our God is with us and if our God is for us then what could ever stop us and if our God is with us can I tell you this Satan is many things but a fool is not one of them i repeat satan is many things whatever else you call satan you are right but to call him a fool you will spend your life learning that lesson that is not that foolish satan has an advantage of age he has been around for a very long time the bible says to not be ignorant of the devices when it talks about weapons it says they are fashioned no weapon fashion they don't just come to fashion means he studies you he studies your vulnerability that anger that becomes the entrance point he knows that when you are broke you are not a christian again so he will ensure that everything that can give you joy financially goes away so that in that state of pain and frustration here he comes Are you seeing that your anger with your pastor is not just about your pastor it is the devil knowing that there is a message that should be preached in march that your spiritual life depends on he wants to make sure you do not hear that truth so he will use an occasion maybe in your unit or whatever it is an offense and anger you say this church serve the way they are and you miss out on an opportunity and start recycling years of pain in your life again is God helping us tonight? Are you seeing the reason why you have to pray for your pastor? Because if the devil attacks him with affliction, it's not just about the man. He's attacking you. It's not him. He knows that if this man is not in the best of health, it has a way of disturbing his focus. 
imagine a man of God who stands on the stage and there's a school fees of 3.5 hanging on him with text messages entering his phone while he's preaching the devil will ensure that his eyes will see one of those text messages as he's quickly turning his points please be reminded that tomorrow by this time if you have not paid your school fees and you see the man scattered on stage you will hear anything again he is shouting and you are wondering why he's angry what changed you invited me to come and preach are we together the journey of transformation is a real journey can i tell you you get to a point where you are matured indeed you know what to do the moment you see the writings on the wall your boss looks at you and says i don't know what is it about you but i i am beginning to hate you you are a matured believer you know that it's not your boss because we wrestle not against flesh and blood you now go back as a matured believer you know what to do you know the power of prayer you can go and shut your house and from that central control room you know how to begin to control things by the next morning the man is calling you and say what did you even say your name is again you know what you have done listen please sit down please take seriously what i'm teaching you politicians unbelievers they understand this you reject them and insult them and say i will not vote them they don't come to you they leave you they know what they need to do while you are sleeping they are programming something upon your mind and to your shock and amazement you will do things you vow that you will not do and they will stand laughing at you and laughing at your lack of growth as a father when you are matured you come to your house and you find out your wife is sick mysteriously your children are sick mysteriously some business that you put just crashed no this is not just about lack of good decision making skills there is an adversary coming within my space you remove that regalia of being a father and wear your priestly regalia you tell your wife i'm coming while they are sleeping in the night they are hearing the voice of a priest indeed walking around your domain sanitizing that atmosphere because you know what to do listen do you know how proud your children will be as a father sleeping and hearing the voice of a priest indeed you are praying and declaring and as i would always say i said this many years ago you walk to their rooms room by room as they wake up say no 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 just lie down i'm your father let me show you how a priest behaves that boy goes back to school the next day and a missing script of three years is found the day you are not around he will do what you always do that's how to mentor that's how to train don't forget what we are discussing tonight spiritual maturity you are mature to the degree to which you are transformed sustaining superior beliefs that are word compliant hmm. hallelujah 